All right, how's it going, YouTube pipe smoking community? It's the Piper 603 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Cornell and Deal Chocolate Cavendish. I picked this over up at Happy Jack's uh, the other day when I went over to their store. Great time, by the way. Uh, I'll put their link in the description. And um, uh, the Cornell and Deal seems to be seems to be doing pretty well on the channel so i mean i, I figured that's kind of why i'm into into trying their their tobaccos uh and also i'm always up for trying new tobaccos so there's no excuse it's really just like hey i'm always up for a new tobacco um why because i like to try new things and i like to try new things for you guys and i like to show it to you guys and um give my honest review um so uh without further ado cornell and deal uh it's a two ounce tin here I think you can get it for about 15 bucks. 15.75 is what I got it for. Uh, depending on where you get it from, you can get it less, more online. I don't know, but around that ballpark. Um, opening it up, it has a light ch a chocolate. It's not, it's not super chocolate. Like I've opened some tins recently where I'm like, that's 100% chocolate. But um, it's definitely creamy. Uh, it smells light on the chocolate side but it, sm it smells good i don't really smell any tobacco um i'm not seeing any cavendish at all so it just looks like a virginia uh if you look at this tin i i don't know, i, I want to tip it over as you see my past videos i've done that before and i've learned <laughs> so as you can see here it's kind of a light brown uh just some darker colors of it maybe it could be cavendish but it could just be the the coating that could be on there um, let's read the back of the tin, shall we? Uh, so here we go. Uh, so the back of the tin says, Our traditional Cavendish base made even more flavorful with the addition of our own exclusive formulation of natural chocolate and coca bean. All right. All right, it's natural. Na okay. Eh. I mean, I'm not opposed. <laughs> that wasn't me being like, it's natural. It's just more of like, I'm, now I'm... Were they just rubbing chocolate on it or something? I mean, <laughs> that's kind of what I was just wondering. But uh, uh, we'll get to smoking this in a minute. Uh, I just want to kind of read it about it. Uh, so again, it's an it's an aromatic, as we're all aware. It's a chocolate. It's going to be aromatic. Um, contents: It says Cavendish. Yeah, I guess maybe that's Cavendish. Looks like a like a just a stained kind of Virginia. I guess maybe that's what that says. Okay, but it's a ribbon cut. I believe that because it definitely is definitely a ribbon cut. Longer strains, uh, and that's pretty much that's pretty much all we got for right now. The, the strength is mild. The flavoring is mild to medium. Um, the taste is mild, and the room note is pleasant. And we'll get into that as we smoke it. Uh, but the point uh, is what I'm going to get into is what pipe should I smoke it out of? So feel free to, while I look at a pipe and load it up, feel free to grab your favorite pipe, grab some Cavendish, chocolate Cavendish by Cornell and Deal. And uh, let's get this open. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this guy here. All right. So I picked up this pipe from Happy Jacks and I went to this store a couple of days ago and um, this pipe just, <laughs> It stuck with me. Uh, it was one of those pipes that I kind of, uh, I, I was like, ah, I'll say no to it for now, but I'm definitely going to come back for it because <laughs> uh, it's it's very lightweight, very small kind of bowl, uh, but it's, it's kind of taller, very great for driving. And I was driving with this the other day and uh, had a phenomenal time with it. And it's a grand, grand pipe. Love it. Um, I will say though, uh, the stem is the stem is very thin on it, so you got to be very cautious with it. Uh, not like a pocket pipe, definitely not. Um, it's more, and then when you ash it, you got to be very cautious about the stem piece. Um, so this it's a little more more of a fragile piece, um, and uh, the mouth the mouth piece is is interesting. It, it's a nice nice hard briar, I believe, but the that stem is very interesting. But it's a nice pipe, so I don't know who it's by, too. It's a mystery pipe. It literally just has this weird initial on it. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's show up. See, it can, you can kind of see it right there. Like some initials stamped in it. 
is handmade. I can't tell if that's a T or if that's an I. P and E. So it's either I P E, like I, or T P E. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It says handmade, but it's a beautiful. It's a beautiful pipe, and it smokes wonderfully. So I'm gonna be smoking the this out of that. Wow. It's definitely a Cavendish. Definitely Cavendish. Right off the bat, you get that really sweet Cavendish taste. My God. It's a very delicious pipe tobacco. So that strength, that strength is a uh, mild, the flavoring is mild to medium and the taste is mild. And this is a very delicious pipe tobacco. Uh, just off the first couple puffs of it, uh, it was it was sweet. To be honest, I really don't taste that chocolate. Um, I really don't. Um, I just taste a, kind of like a, a nice sweet tobacco. It, to me, it kind of tastes like a sweet Virginia, which is weird. It's I think my mind's playing tricks with me. Um, but I, I, I just personally, I'm getting... I'm getting like a sweet Virginia off of this, but more darker. I don't know. It's, I think that's where that chocolate kind of lies. This is a very, I, this is a really nice tobacco. I like this one. If you're a Molto Doce guy, give this a shot, being real with you. This is a nice one. Well, there's not much more to say about this one, so I'm going to leave it to you guys. Feel free to comment below. Feel free to comment below what you're smoking out of and the tobacco you're choosing of. Um, as we all hear, the community is so friendly, so, so, so open, and we're, we're all about the comments in here, and I try my best to reply to them. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. Don't be shy. Um, thank you all so much for all the comments, the likes, the subscribes. Thank you all so much. I, I really, it's, it's a lot of fun, and uh, it allows me to, to kind of venture out and try new things. Um, I've said in the past, I do have some tobaccos on the uh, in my cart online um, that I'm definitely going to be uh, purchasing in the future. But uh, I have a good amount of tobaccos here that I'm trying to make videos on. But um, I just been so busy with uh, with work and um, it's just been it's been it's been a little crazy. So uh, I try to try my best to make as many videos as I can for you. Hopefully around three, four every week. Um, and if, if not, uh, you'll definitely always see more videos in the future. So again, this is Piper 603. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this pipe. Um, this pipe is an amazing piece and I love it. Uh, nice, nice little poker piece. You know, you can lay it down the floor, lay it down the table. Lies perfectly. It doesn't tip over. Love it. Uh, stays lit. However, I can't tell you who is by I don't know this is a mystery pipe um, and I took a gamble on it and it really wasn't that expensive so I was really happy to get it um, I think I got it like for $30 or something like that 30 or 50 bucks I forget uh, honestly today was a bit of a doozy so <laughs> so uh, the price is not not in my head right now but um, it's priceless to me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna be signing off happy smokings take it easy